Groundwork and grooming, August challenge. Day number two, here we go. <laughs> Hello, my equestrian friends. It's me, Lisa, the Budget Equestrian. Welcome back to today's video. And today is day number two of our August challenge. Yesterday, we worked on getting our tack room ready. My tack room is all ready. And today, we're gonna just spend a little bit of time with our horses doing groundwork and grooming. And I believe the grooming part is pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna spend some time grooming your horse. And if your horse has problems with anything like fly sprays or just standing still while you're brushing him, this is when I want you to spend a little bit of extra time to see if you can work through those problems. And I don't mean to sound like a trainer or anything because believe me, I'm not. This is just something that I'm working on with Pleasant myself. And I wanted to share the opportunity for this challenge with you too, just in case you wanted to do it along with me. But back to my challenge for today. So grooming. Pleasant is getting much better with his grooming. I still don't tie him a lot just because it makes it a lot easier for me just to hold on to the lead rope instead of taking the time and working on the tying situation. So that is something that we're going to be addressing in the future. But today, just wanted to get a video out and show you guys a little bit more about grooming. So my favorite part of grooming has got to be the curry comb. And the curry comb that I like to use is the Decker Flexible Curry. And I'll leave a link to it down below just in case you're curious. But this has been my most favorite curry comb that I've ever had for my horses. So much so that when this one wears out, I go find a new flexible curry because it works that good. So for Pleasant and I, we just spend some time grooming, whether it's currying, whether it's brushing him, but some of that time is actually spent with areas where he's a little bit more sensitive. So for example, his tail. For a long time, I was not able to brush his tail. He would kick out, he would turn his butt around, but that's something that we've worked on is getting him used to me working around his hind end and grooming his tail, just even brushing it. Another thing is on his legs. He didn't used to let me touch his legs very long and in time we've gotten to the point where I can actually brush his legs now. So these are just a few things that I've been working on with Pleasant and that's what I want you to do. Find something that is challenging for your horse like standing still or even getting fly spray applied and work through that challenge. It's not going to happen overnight but the more you practice and the more you do it, the better you and your horse will become. Okay, so that covers the grooming portion of today. The second part of this is groundwork. And for groundwork, find something that you and your horse need to work on. It can be something as simple as leading. It can be getting him to put his head down. There's so many different things that you can work on with groundwork. And like I said, I'm not a horse trainer, so I can't really guide you of what type of groundwork exercises to do that will work for you and your horse but there is a lot of information online from reputable trainers, or if you have a Noel Floyd Masterclass membership, Teak Maynard has a really neat class that walks you through 
problems that people have with their horses and how to overcome them. So those are a couple of places you can go and I'm sure there's lots of other resources available from reputable trainers that really know what they're doing. So my goal for you today is find something that you can do with your horse that'll make a big impact and it's something that you can commit to doing every single day. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch all my other DIY projects, product reviews, and horse related videos showing you how to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.